Hey everybody, welcome to this portion of Perspectives in Pouring. Now, I'm sure you have a lot of questions like, why am I using a translucent base coat? Why am I just throwing down paint from a squeeze bottle? And basically, what in the name of Zeus's thunderbolt is going on? Well, I ask myself that all the time, so I get it. Um, I, I had an idea in my head uh, of a piece, a swipe specifically. You guys know I love swipes. And uh, you can see that I've taped off some areas of the canvas. And what I want to do is five separate swipes, take that tape off and have just white lines between them uh, to create some contrast. And so that's what I am attempting to do here. Now to answer your questions, I'm using a translucent base coat because several reasons actually. I did not want a solid color of paint mixing with my other colors. I wanted them to stay true. So with the translucent base coat, you don't have to worry about that. Um, also, when I swiped over the translucent base coat, you have areas that the color didn't really take. Um, if you look at the portion there, the blues and the greens, you can see some areas of white. That's, that's just the canvas. That's where the paint didn't go over. So again, I didn't have another color to blend um, and I wanted those gaps in my swipes. Um, second or third reason, I forget which one I'm on, the translucent base coat dries faster than if I were to have uh, the amount of paint on this size canvas that I would need to cover it. So I, was, I didn't have to use as much paint um, as you normally would for this size of a canvas. So that was a good thing. So that's just kind of explaining uh, the method to my madness. There, there is one. <laughs> Sometimes it, it doesn't come to me immediately. And uh, I'm sure you guys were asking what is going on here. But that, that's what's going on in a nutshell. So it, I know it looks funky and it really looks strange. And I hated it uh, as I was doing it. And it, it literally took me a minute to do it because I let each section dry first. And I just kept thinking, this is so weird. I don't know what I'm doing. It's so weird. But I finally finished it. Uh, I think I did this back in August. And I'm just now getting around to uh, posting the video. So, like I said, bear with me. There, there is a, uh, a a rainbow over the horizon and a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. At least I hope I hope you think so. I I think this is a pretty cool piece. So enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. You know I love um, doing weird things and sharing them with you. So uh, just sit back, relax. Watch the madness, and uh, I'll be back here in just a minute.
you might be wondering what colors I'm using here and I will be perfectly honest with you I'm not quite sure huh. uh, these are my squeeze bottles so I can tell you that the majority of them are going to be the artist loft ready to pour paints um, I love those colors and those paints are really a great consistency for this particular type of swiping they're not too thin they're not too thick uh, gorgeous gorgeous colors and like I said the majority of my squeeze bottles that's what's in them now there are times when I don't use all my paint uh, even my leftover paint so what I'll do is get it to the right consistency and then pour it into one of the bottles if it's a red I'll pour it in with a red um, I try to keep the the colors you know pretty similar but I cannot guarantee what they all are and I'm sorry this is one of the things that I I just don't take the time to really pay attention to um, I know that they work I know my squeeze bottle paint works and that's what I do so I apologize for not having a list of colors in the description but what you see is pretty much what you get there's a variety of reds uh, blues turquoise green lime green orange yellow uh, it has a little bit of everything in this piece Okay, so the piece is dry, and what I'm doing is taking my golden high flow acrylics and just putting a little bit of paint in different areas of the canvas, taking a damp paper towel, and I'm doing some dry swiping. Um, now, if you've never heard of dry swiping, what it is is your, your piece is completely dry, your canvas. So basically, you are just swiping that little bit of wet paint over the dry canvas to embellish make some highlights uh, however you want to do it but um, that is where we're at in this piece is going back and doing a little bit of embellishing
as I'm taking off this tape, I can see there are some areas where the paint has bled underneath it, um, which is no big deal. I took my handy dandy, trusty Amsterdam titanium white paint and just brushed over those areas, uh, two or three coats, and it worked like a charm. I was actually very, very pleased with this piece. It gave me pause, I don't know how many times, and that may be why it took me so long to finish it, but I really do love it. It's hanging up in the gallery now, and um, hopefully it'll sell soon. If not, I you may see it coming up on an auction, I don't know. But I, I really do love swiping. I love the multitude of colors. It goes with any decor. Um, it's visually interesting. And I just had a whole lot of fun with it. Thank you guys so much for being here. You know I appreciate your time spent. Um, Sheldon and Lance do as well. We will be back next week with another episode of Perspectives in Pouring. In the meantime, have a great weekend. And we will talk to you soon.